Hey there, you guys. It's Jayma Porter here, and I want to show you how to make one of these super cute Fourth of July pop pie, pop pie, pop by gifts for your customers. So I'm a realtor here in Florida, and um, just came up with this super cute thing. Got this idea from somebody else, um, but I put my own spin on it. Kind of redesigned the card. Um, this little card here is um, done in Canva. It's a cute little poem. Um, kind of a play. This is like a little grill set. It's ketchup and mustard. No big deal. It's got some sparklers in the back for kids or whatever for 4th of July. A little American flag. Just a little thing to stop on by and, and say I'm thinking of you. And so we created about 25 of these that were hand delivering. So thought I would show you how to make it. Um, it's super simple. And I know sometimes if you're not a creative person or a creative sort type person, you can get overwhelmed and think something is really hard. And it's not. So that's what I want to show you how to do. So just a quick idea of where I got some of these things from. I did this in, this is shrink wrap, and I did this in a shrink wrap bag. It's nine by 14. I get my shrink wrap supplies and a lot of my gift stuff supplies from Nashville Wraps. Um, it's a wholesale place, and it's, I like it a lot, so it's easy. It's good quality stuff. Um, this particular bag was nine by 14. Now, you don't have to do shrink wrap. I just happen to have this in my closet. I like to use up what I have and create something from it. So. Um, but it is really easy, so I'll show you how to do it. But so it's a nine by fourteen size clear shrink wrap. Um, another staple that I always use and have is my um, clear tape, and the tape is shipping tape. So shipping tape is actually clear, so not scotch tape that's got a film to it. Um, you want something that's completely clear, and uh, so I love shipping tape for that reason. Um, I also got sparklers. They came in a pack of six. So two white, two red, and two blue for $3 at Walmart. So I just split them up and put three in each set in the back. Um, you know, and then just whatever miscellaneous curly ribbon things that you have. I did pick up some, you know, patriotic ribbon from Hobby Lobby. They have it on sale right now. I think it's 40 or 50% off. So I just got a couple of things of that. I created this cute little poem that says, just stopping by to catch up with you and say hello from your realtors that's my husband and i were a team that and so let me start this over so just stopping by to catch up with you and say hello from your realtors that really cut the mustard <laughs> we truly relish your referrals and take we'll take great care of anyone you refer so you could put relish with this i don't like relish um and i like the small bottles so um the small bottle of mustard i got from walmart walmart only had the small bottles of ketchup and organic and um like no salt or no sugar added so they were like 369 a piece i didn't really i didn't i didn't want that so i actually got these at the dollar hunts they had hunts ketchup at the dollar tree which was really great um so anyway that's where i got everything i got the flags from hobby lobby and uh you know i'm gonna show you how to put it together now so i redesigned the um poem i, I forget her name cindy Rosen, Rosenbloom is the one I got this from. Um, and I just created this on Canva. And it's on cardstock, pull punch. All right, so you assemble it. You just stick them in the bag. This is before it's shrunk wrap. And you got these little points on the end. So I'm going to end up probably um, turning that camera down a little bit. But So I just take a little piece of tape. I take it on the point, and I just kind of tuck it. Same thing on this other side. You just want to tuck it just so it's not sticking out. And then there's lots of professional people that do things. I am not a professional. I'm a realtor, so um, but I do like to have the creative side of things for gift giving, gift making. My mother was actually very good at it. So this is a regular hair dryer. Okay, you don't need a, a shrink wrap gun. I've never had a shrink wrap gun. Um, but I'm going to show you really quick how to do this. So when you're shrink wrapping, you always start at the bottom, and you're pushing the air up and out. So I'm going to, actually, I think I'm going to tilt this down just a bit so you can see it a little better. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to kind of grab it, start the dryer, and I'm going to go in the bottom. And you'll start to see things shrink. When it heats up, it's starting to tighten. And then I like to set it and you know, just go up halfway.
and that's it. I have two here to show you. So I've got that one. And again, so I start at the bottom and then I put it on the countertop on purpose. So that way it's level and it'll stand on its own. And then I just bring it over the edge and then I just turn around. I start at the bottom and I kind of go all the way around about halfway. And then I flip it around and keep going and I go all the way up and, and kind of hold it up here. And that's it. Okay. So I'll do one more. Oh, wait, forgot to pin the points. So I'm going to take the points, tuck them under. That way they're not sticking out when they shrink. I used to do these live, and I liked it a lot better because people would ask me questions and I could answer. <laughs> so, I'm just going to put it over the edge. Okay, so I always say the gift is cute, but making it cute with wrapping or with bows and whatnot um, makes it extra special. So I use um, just a, I got a bunch of them, but they're like the little tie bags from um, like bread. You can buy them, of course. You don't have to use the ones from bread, but anyway, super simple. And uh, so now we're just gonna take a piece of curly ribbon and tie it around, you do a little loop in your um, card. On this tag, I have our name, our brokerage, and our and our like little team name and our logo our kind of our logo icon. And then I'm gonna show you how to do a really super simple bow. I'll try to do it backwards here. So the um, breast cancer uh, bow, always, that's what I know, it always reminds me of that, like the breast cancer, you just turn like this, and then you just bring this down, I'm doing it backwards, but you can see. Man. <laughs> do it like this. You know, I tried to do this, <laughs> They were doing the uh, yard next door like an hour and a half ago and I didn't film them because they were there and now they're back. So that's fun. All right, so you just squish it down like that, okay? It's like the breast cancer loop and then you just squish the loop down. And then I'm just gonna simply put, use my curly ribbon that I already tied my label on or the gift card tag on. And I'm going to use that to cinch the center. Just kind of line it up a bit. Just knot it. Super easy. Cute little bow. And then you can take scissors and, I don't have my scissors right here, but you can take scissors and do the curly ribbon. So anyway, that's what it looks like. It's really cute. My husband actually uh, ironed these and starched them and they are, some of them are very starchy. <laughs> but anyway, we're going around. We're just putting these on the doorstep. At the front door, taking a picture, sending them a text saying happy 4th of July. And so far, everybody's loving them. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Very, very easy. And um, happy 4th of July.